Welcome back to the fourth installment of Choir Boy Get Inside the Headphones, um, a mini documentary. Um, yeah, so today I just want to talk about my most misunderstood album that I ever did, which was the Choir Boy 13 album. Um, yeah, so how Choir Boy 13 came about was I put out a mihi on the net just to like anyone you know in the states or Australia or New Zealand that wanted to collab and the idea was to get 13 tracks with international and local artists um, to showcase up and coming artists so yeah so um, some of the artists that featured on the 13 album was um, Tim the Turner who's an Australian Christian rapper um, 2-1, um, who's one of Wellington's, if not New Zealand's, one of the most deadliest battle rappers that you'll ever come across, 2-1. Um, it also featured Poetic Lee, who actually featured on um, SFC, as I mentioned earlier, really inspired me, and some of Freedom, so Freedom of Souls albums, um, so I was real lucky to have him from the States, um, a Porua MC called Forbidden from the Screw Ups crew also had MC Wire from Upper Heart Posse Horrified Selection from the Nui MC Phrase um, who I mentioned earlier as um, one of New Zealand's uh, first Christian rappers um, who was in Straight Up also had Kurt Smith, Kormini and also Vicious Vicious um, who, he was from 36 Battalion, as well as Wade Duncan from Lost Property, Homeland, and also Moo Rumble. So yeah, I got a, quite a few artists on that 13 album. Um, but the theme of the album was anger, like unresolved anger. So like all the tracks were um, about sort of dealing with angry, uh, being angry and... Um, that was like the whole point of the album was, you know, just to get stuff off your chest, you know, if you got beef with someone or whatever. Um, so I produced all the beats for that album and it went from like a a 13 track project to like a 17 track project real fast. Um, which I'm really, I'm really thankful for. But um, one of the things that I kind of got in trouble for was like, up until that point, all my albums didn't ever have um, swearing or explicit content on them. And um, I thought, well, if I'm going to like be real and talk about anger and being angry, that I sort of have to express that. Um, and it got me in a lot of trouble, especially like some ministers will like contact me and they'll be like, you know, I thought you were a Christian rapper, you know, how come there's like swearing on your album and, you know, a lot of, it was hard because, you know, I started off as a Christian rapper, um, but my content was like too hardcore for the church and then like when I was in the mainstream in the recording studio, they'd be like, you know, you talk about God too much in your lyrics, um, your lyrics are too Christian, so it was really kind of hard to figure out where my music actually fit in and I realized that you know a lot of the music I just produced it you know it was just it was really just to get stuff off my chest and that so yeah the 13 album only printed about oh, 50 copies of that album and now I just go like straight digital online um yeah, so what else do I want to talk about? Um, I, I guess just want to finish off this series, um, Get Inside the Headphones, just briefly talking about some of the other albums that I've done. Um, so I did the Return of the Dread Eye EP, which was just like four reggae dub remix tracks. Um, I also did a EP called Voice, which was just real experimental as it was just no instruments, just using my voice to make and create tracks. Um, also, I've I've done a lot of work with um, Zion Project, which was the hip-hop crew that I formed with Phrase. 
um, we did the futuristic old school mixtape, which I I did. Um, we also just released recently the Rebirth album and also the Birth album, which was the bonus disc with all the beats that I produced for um, Zion Project. Um, then I just started working on a couple of other Choir Boy projects. I did the Three Days um, album, which I actually wrote all the tracks for the album in three days. Um, that was the point of that album. And then I finished off by doing a best of album called Hit, it, Hit or Miss, which basically was like some of the tracks that were popular and some of the tracks that weren't very popular, but I just wanted to share them with people. And for the Choir Boy Best Of album, um, I decided to do some remixes of a song that I wrote back in 1998, which is probably my most successful song that I ever wrote, which is a track called Two Dollar Jandals. Um, pretty much like every gig that I go to, people always hit me up about that Two Dollar Jandals song, you know, and it was only meant to be like a, co it's only a comedy song, you know, it was a... It was a muck around song, but everyone seems to like that song. So, yeah, I chucked some recorded versions of that onto the Choir Boy Best Of. And I also released a $2 Jandal EP with just like a whole lot of remixes and stuff like that. Yeah, so for me, that was case closed. You know, I'd done a lot of tracks, probably over 100 tracks as the artist Choir Boy. And I was sort of like looking for new direction. So I decided, you know, that's it. I'm not going to go into Choir Boy anymore. I'm done. And so I came up with the artist name Yahoo. And that's the artist name that I go by now. And so in 2000, end of 2014, um, I worked on the first Yahoo EP. And I've actually done three EPs under the name Yahoo. Um, 40 Rhymes in the Wilderness, the album 88 which I did for New Zealand Music Month last year, and I'm currently working on my new EP under the name Yahoo called Exist, which is going to be released December this year, and it'll be the twenty the twenty second album project that I've um, worked on as a New Zealand artist. But um, I just want to finish off by saying that like um. I am a Christian MC and like my, all my rapping and stuff has always been like founded on faith and stuff um, but I sort of haven't been open with it I've just sort of like created the music as an artist and as a rapper and like my passion is like freestyling making beats um, just being creative and all that kind of stuff um, big shout outs to all the Christian MCs that have inspired me over the years um yeah I've been really inspired by a lot of Christian MCs um yeah but if you know you're passionate about music and all that kind of stuff just go hard you know don't care about what other people say just like go hard with your music and just make the fattest beats that you can you know um and yeah just go hard um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this documentary. You can check out my music at Yahoo, that's spelled Y-A-H-U dot bandcamp dot com. Um, that's Yahoo dot bandcamp dot com if you want to like buy any of my albums. Pretty much all my albums are up on that website, um, including the new Yahoo Exist album, which will be out in December. Um, so yeah, you can pick up all those albums um yeah and i guess that's me but yeah you can also check out the mc choir boy official page on facebook or the yahoo artist page on facebook as well and um yeah peace <laughs>